Hey guys, it's Sarah from The Dainty Pair. Da, da, da. I am going to open my mascara makeup pro kit. I decided to sign up just to get a link so that if anybody's interested in buying it, you can just click the link below and their website explains things so well. Um, I just thought it would be kind of fun and I got a huge discount on the makeup by doing that. This actually came way earlier in the week and I didn't have time to film and so I've waited. I have held out so that I could show initial reaction to what is in this box. So here we go. Okay, packing slip. And then we have a ton, a ton of confetti. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me find a bag really quick. So I don't know what's supposed to be in here. Uh, it just says pro kit. So we will explore together. First thing, the 3D perfector. So we all know I stink at the beauty blender. If you've seen any of my other, <laughs> any of my other videos, not that I assume you have, because they're not that big of a deal. But if you have, I will give it another shot because I have heard really, I have heard really great things. So, oh, here we go. Okay, this has instructions for eyeshadows. So this is an eyeshadow diagram. So that could be handy. Let me put that via compact. I actually have this one. So maybe I will do a giveaway and give that away on Instagram. So nothing in it, but this is where the four, the highlight, the contour, the illuminator, and the blush can go in. Um, <laughs> and this is all I'm using now. Like this size works great. So that's awesome. Watch for a giveaway on that. Oh, this one's pretty. Okay, so marbled, another one. Oh, let's see, can you? Holy cannoli. Get it together, Sarah. Have this compact, another one. Um, highlight and contour palette. That's awesome. Okay, digging on through. Oh, okay. So this is a double decker. Um, I have not seen one of these in person. So, so you can do shadows and highlight, contour, illuminator, blush, all the fun stuff. Okay, makeup remover wipes. I've heard great things about these. I've never used them. Oh, whoa, okay. This is an even longer double decker. So it's saying highlight, contour, lip and cheek, illuminator, oh, okay. So this is a big one. Just, <laughs> we'll just put this aside. I shadow everything. So shadow brush, let's look at this puppy. This is the double-ended brush. Um, oh, that seems like it'd be really good for a crease. This is just really nice and fluffy, so that's sweet. This is a multitasker brush. It says it does everything, kind of like you. Sure. Women, we do a lot of stuff. Look, they're gold. I have the brushes where they're wood handles on the big, on the big ones. So this looks like it could be used for concealer or like under eye. Um, maybe like putting the highlight down the middle of your nose. I don't know, maybe for whatever you want. That's how we roll. Oh, sweet. Okay, so it came with some milk moisturizer and I actually bought through my friend um, the Tres Leches, which is the wash, the toner, and the moisturizer, this moisturizer. I bought it for myself for Christmas and so, <laughs> Um, I'm excited to have another one of these because I actually kind of super love it. Okay, tattoos. They say get out there, gorgeous. Okay, here are the colors. We have nude, which I have used in videos before, and that is what I is in my palette right now. Now that I have a double decker, we might switch it up. But since I was using just the one with the four, which is totally fine and totally that's plenty. Um Maybe now that I have the other one, I will try some more. This is papaya. Oh, this is stone contour. That is really, really pretty. How long is this video gonna be? Do we have time to go through all of them? <laughs> okay, pink grapefruit, lip and cheek. Okay, that is also really pretty. It's just pink. <laughs> I just smelled it. It doesn't smell like grapefruit, but it is really pretty. This is ash, and it's another contour. This 
it is very ashy. I'm curious to see what skin tone this looks best on, because um, I really don't know. Okay, Aura, it's a highlight color, it's pretty light. Shadow, I do have this one. This is a darker, more gray contour, so I've heard of people using it on their nose or on places that they really, really want to contour, which I don't have a ton of time for usually, so <laughs> just go for the basics. This is Olive. This is what I use on usually on the daily, unless I find a new one in here that I love. Moonlit Highlight. I have heard that this is good. Actually, I'm gonna just... Yeah, that's kind of... I might be adding that one. Okay, this is Black Cherry, and it is a lip and cheek. I think it's great that they can double as a lip thing. You guys know I love my lipstick, and so probably won't be switching that out anytime soon. But if you are in a, like, pickle, need a quick lippy, I think that is totally beautiful. I might have to try this on later because I'm really intrigued by the color. Goddess, I have not heard about this. Okay, this is a highlight, ooh. So, it looks pretty yellow, orange, tan. I don't really know my color wheel, but we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna go with that. Cinnamon highlight, have not heard of this either. Okay, this is for darker complexions. Super beautiful. Okay, this is June highlight. Oh, that's pretty also. Yeah, that's pretty light. Okay, this is Mango, my cousin. Super beautiful, olive, more tan skin than me. Um, uses mango. Okay, rose gold illuminator. So stoked to have this again because mine is out. Indigo contour. They're like really pretty and creamy. This is definitely for darker complexions. Super pretty. This is wheat, one that I use more in the summertime. White peach highlight for lighter complexions. Amber. I also use amber, so that's what I have on today. Oh man. <laughs> I just got on my fingers, so we're just gonna blend in. Ooh, Pearl Illuminator. I have not tried this one because they uh, I've heard it's for lighter tones, but I've also heard of kind of everybody being able to use it. So we'll have to try this one too. Walnuts. Oh, that's really pretty. I might have to try this one. It looks kind of similar to olive, but maybe a little bit lighter. myself in the face. Okay, this is, oh, these are eyeshadows. <laughs> I just got really excited. So, breathe, breathe. Okay, let's go back to brushes for a second. This is a detail hack brush. I have this one, but mine actually broke, and it's not, I don't think because of the brushes, it's because my children got a hold of them. Unintentionally, they're really good kids, but they're five, five and under, so I like the gold handle. Feels so rich. <laughs> My gold handled detail hack brush. <laughs> Just kidding. But it is really soft and luxurious. Okay, moving on. Okay, this is a oh power power powder. They come in this netted thing, which is probably good. It keeps the bristles tight. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, what is this? <gasps> oh, oh. This looks it's kind of like tapered off. So it looks like you could get like right on in there. And this one has like a flat edge and it's also kind of tapered. I don't really know where I would use it. Maybe just there? I don't know, but I really like it and it's really pretty, so I'll keep you. Ooh, blush and bronzer. Oh, this is awesome, okay. So this is probably bronzer. It's really fluffy. Um, and this is probably blush. It's a little bit more stiff right there. Yeah. 30 second hack. So I have this, love it. I usually keep one in my purse. It'll be nice to have one like in my bathroom. And I'm gonna keep the gold one in my bathroom. It really is so soft. Oh yes, here they are. I had some questions about um, powders and bronzers because I don't usually use powder, however, I do like using bronzer, so let's take a look at these. So this is the Vanilla Dust Setting Powder, and they recommend this to use in your more oily areas, or just to just set it wherever you feel like it needs to be set. Um, I've seen people use it under their eyes, maybe T-Zone. Here's the bronzer, it's Cayman. I don't 
know how I feel about the color on this. I will definitely give it a try. It's really pretty and it's really creamy for being a powder. I just don't know if it's dark enough for how I like my bronzer. We'll come back to it, we'll see. That's just seriously so satisfying. Going on the bottom row. Oh, they're magnetic. I knew that, but for some reason it still surprised me. Oh crap, we lost Finn. Finn goes there. Mama, it's like pinky, purple, midnight. Midnight, not a sound from the pavement. Just seemed appropriate. This is just called mascara eyeshadow, so maybe it's a custom one. Super pretty. Okay, this is Sabrina. I've heard really good. Oh, I just ruined Sabrina. Okay, well, don't push too hard when you open the tins. But this is a super pretty color. Bubba. Bubba, bubba, bubba. Okay, that's cute. It's brown, kind of like a brown. It's really pretty. Salem. London. It's like a lighter purple than Midnight. Bright Eyes. Yeah, I think that's gonna probably be a favorite. I'm not sure how long my camera has been off. <laughs> I must have accidentally stopped it. Okay guys, so that is what came in the Mascara Beauty Pro Kit. Um, I believe it was about $400. You can also get a kit below that, um, but it's worth like double that in makeup or something. Oh, don't quote me on that. It's, it's worth more than that. Um, obviously, if you were buying them separately, you wouldn't need the full range of colors, but if you are trying to become an artist, then that's why they include all of it, so that you can help shade match people. So, I love it. However, I still use a lot of other products. You guys know that I'm not super brand loyal because I'm, I'm gonna use my lipstick that I like. I'm gonna use my bronzer that I like. But if you were wondering what came in that kit, I just wanted to show you. So, yeah. If there are any other products or anything like that you'd like me to try, please let me know down there and I will try and do it. Or if you'd like to purchase this makeup, you can use my link. Um, I will also put that in the description box. It's just mascarabeauty.com slash the dainty pair. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. I will talk to you guys later and Merry Christmas. I'm the mom and I'm gonna have to clean